You're watching EVH and Gear TV, brought to you by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. An official Van Halen merchandise is provided by vanhalenstore.com. And now, here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH artist Eric Broadbent. Hey everyone, happy Thursday, I think it is. Happy Thursday evening to everyone. A very rare, brief live broadcast here from EVH and Gear TV. Hope everyone is well. Uh, Jack Shea Martin's jumping in the chat. Uh, Terry's GGNG and FNAF Gamers here jumping in the chat as well too. Uh, this wasn't a forecasted, scheduled broadcast by any means. And uh, actually, as it goes, hey, uh, Nocturnal Butterflies here as well too. Howdy all, she says. I'm uh, now kind of filling in these days of the week where um, there's not going to be too many days off, in other words. So we have a new show starting tomorrow night. I'm really, really excited about it. Kramer Corner, uh, talking all about the legacy of Kramer guitars, old, new, uh, and, and everywhere in between artists that have launched the brand, like Eddie Van Halen, of course, or hence the reason why I'm doing this. You know, the inspiration Eddie Van Halen has given all of us, uh, you know, through the Kramer guitars over the years, plus many other artists as well, too. But so many things right now. I'm just so excited to share with you all. And the first thing I want to do is share with my subscribers, my friends and family and all that good stuff here on the channel. So Kramer Corner debuts tomorrow night. We are going to move it to a new slot after tomorrow. Uh, I'm I'm not, I won't say yet, but we're going to move it to its own night. We're going to have its uh, EVH and Gear TV's regular night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. 6 Eastern Time, or 6 Pacific on Fridays, and Helix, the Helix Hour will continue at 3 p.m. Eastern on Sundays, and I'm only going to take probably one week off, um, maximum two. I don't want to be taking too much time off, because uh, as, as Nocturnal Butterfly will tell you in the chat, as you know here, Sandra Lee here, she does not want me to have time off, and that's a good thing. Trust me, it's a good thing, and I really don't want time off either. I, the only reason why I'm taking time off of Helix Hour is to book the entire next season's worth of guests. We'll have probably 15 or 16 episodes for season two, which will be kicking off right away. And if you're a fan of the Line 6 family of products, Helix family of products, you'll have seen there's some, been some pretty cool guests on that show um, this season so far. So I'm going to try to book that entire season. And I kind of wish I would have done this going into EVH and Gear TV. You know, when I went into EVH and Gear TV, it was my first show I've done. And it's been a, it's been a real learning curve for me as well, too. And I've learned a lot from doing that. And I really wish I would have booked it in seasons because it's nice to be able to book a whole season, book your guests. Now, obviously, you might have a couple holes in between where you can't fill the entire season, but it's nice to fill that season, focus on the guests, and then you know produce content or for for each night's show and focus strictly on that. So that's where I've learned a lot from the Helix Hour. I'm adapting that now, taking it back from my second show, applying it to the EVH and Gear TV, and of course now jumping over the Helix Hour and applying what I've learned. To Kramer Corner kicking off tomorrow night. So just to give you a little bit of a hint on what's coming tomorrow night. Brand new show talking about the, the guitar legacy of Kramer Guitars. I've got Aljean Go from Gibson Brands Inc. as my first guest. And I think that's a pretty cool way to kick it off. Obviously bringing someone in from the, the direct family, the direct company who manufactures the guitars going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm really excited about it. I've, uh, I haven't slept much over the past week or two. You know, and, it, and keep in mind, too, I run a business from home, you know, 24-7, which never really turns off. You know, if a customer's website breaks in the middle of the night, I'm kind of on call, that kind of thing. But it's been a labor of love, and I'm really excited about this. The family is excited about this. And something else, uh, so I'm going to kind of go a little crazy over back and forth over different things here. But uh, Sandra Lee here, Nocturnal Butterfly, as you know her, has launched a whole new merchandise line for us. And she's got a surprise for me that I don't know about yet, but she says I'm going to like it. So from what she tells me, we have merchandise for EVH and Gear TV, everything from mugs, T-shirts, uh, you know, uh, I think she said posters, all that kind of stuff, the Helix Hour, and even brand new Kramer Corner stuff. And then there's a new brand. There's a brand new brand she's going to be unveiling tomorrow night that she says it's all for, it's all for us. 
Uh, I think it's going to be fantastic. So I'm really excited about that. Let's jump to the chat for a second. So I'm going to be all over the place tonight, but really excited about it. It's kind of like Christmas Eve in a way for those that celebrate Christmas. Big thing coming tomorrow with the new show, and I'm really excited about it. And please keep in mind, too, people that are regular fans of EVH and Gear TV, not, none of these shows take precedent over the other. I'm not putting any more effort into one uh, show over the next. It's it's something that I love each and I dedicate my focus to equally. And the cool thing is I learn from each of these shows as well too and, ad and adapt things I learned from EVH over to Helix, from Helix over to Kramer, maybe something I'll pick up just th throughout the season in Kramer Corner, bring it back to EVH. So it's, it's a really cool thing. And I learn a lot of this stuff as far as, you know, like I say the term throwing spaghetti at the wall and what sticks. A lot of you people here in the chat are a great asset to me as well too because you'll say some things you'll you'll uh, you know offer su some suggestions and a lot of those things are, are are vetted and used in into the context of these shows so let's go back and see if i missed anything over in the chat we've got about 15 people watching right now i thank you so much for tuning in uh let me see here so um opithian dream 2112 i like the 2112 name says hey eric love your show thank you so very much um jack Shea martin says we were able to get in touch with eddie to do a show with him Hope, hopefully it's it's been it's been processed we'll say that uh, and Eddie does have my questions so we'll um, we'll just have to wait till that that phone rings or an email comes through uh, Hank coffee is here hey man great the, the, he's a new subscriber and I was checking out he did a Kramer unboxing the other day I think it was the uh, uh, the 112 I think it was I forget what it was the SM I forget what model he had but anyways I discovered his channel it was a recommended video to me and I subscribed to him right away and he's now a subscriber to me so that's awesome it's amazing how all these communities bring us all together so I'm very happy to have you here Hank I appreciate that uh, Jim Dales is here Terry's G and G um, chipmunks yeah we got some chipmunks you got to take you got to if you're in, in the chat click on nocturnal butterfly the little thing beside her name and go to her channel we've got this little key, this is really cool if you want to start off your day tomorrow with a coffee or even later on tonight and uh, want something really cute to start your day or conclude your evening she's done this new series of um, Jethro the chipmunk we have a little uh, it's not a pet yet I want it to be a pet but we, we live in a real nature environment here, and we've adopted this little uh, pet chipmunk. It's really cool, and, and she's been feeding it. I even fed him today with peanuts. It'll eat right out of your hands, and the thing is about this big. It's so cute. So take a look at the series of videos that we have five on, on her channel. Uh, let me see. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> Eddie Dev the Day. That's my friend Jeff, he, and he says, hey, Eric. He's got a really, really cool channel. He's just started. Just watch his video tonight. And you always get these idiots of the day, right? Whether it's someone at the drive-thru who says, uh, do you want a tray with that? Or, or actually, they don't offer you a tray and you order like six six drinks and they don't offer you a tray. And meanwhile, you order a coffee. Would you like a tray with that? So that's an example of an idiot of the day. But he's got some really good examples on his channel, brand new channel. So check that out as well too. Uh, let me see. Lau Ketchman is here. Hey, Eric, how's things? Very, very well. Uh, Sean Zimmerman is here saying, hey, all Nocturnal Butterfly, Terry and David Ennis. And Sean Zimmerman, just a nice well wishes to you because I know you've been struggling with some illnesses and we always wish you the best here on the channel. Um, so really hoping all is well. Um, let me see. Ivan F. Gamer says, I miss coming to watch these streams and videos. Glad to be back. And nice to have you back as well too. And you know what? Now it's going to be easier for you because <laughs> if Nocturnal has her way, I am going to be on here 24 seven. And uh, I have just have to say something here in the chat for a second. Yes. Got it. Got it. Okay. And uh, let me see where have I missed off? I got a lot of people jumping in here. Actually, uh, surprisingly for a Thursday evening, I'll try to catch up to you all here. So I guess as I pre preface some of these questions over in the chat are saying hi to people in the chat, several things I have a road unboxing here as well to some stuff that arrived today for myself and both nocturnal butterfly because she's becoming a show host as well too. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. And uh, we're a YouTube family. We're a YouTube family, which is fantastic. Junior's channel has taken off like no tomorrow. Uh, we're working heavily on Nocturnal's channel. Some of this stuff in here is going to help her as well, too. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's been fun. It's been crazy and fun. And more so, I'm going to emphasize, emphasize on the word fun than crazy. But crazy comes with fun, if that makes any sense. Um, <laughs> let me see what else have we got here. David Ennis says, hey, Sean Zimmerman. Uh, let me see here. Fender Guru says, Hey guys. Uh, Hey, got, get Eddie working on it. I'm certainly working on it. And as I'm, as I'm going through the, uh, uh, questions here, I am going to, uh, hang on a second. Got a quick second here. We're good on that one. Uh, nuclear cheddar is here. Nice. I made it. I love that nuclear cheddar name. That's a pretty cool name. Dan Halen is here. 
Um, yes, SC211 Striker Custom. That's it, Hanks. Thank you so much for pointing it out to me. That was a guitar that you unboxed. Very, very cool. Insomniac Matt is here saying good, good timing. Just got back with a, a toaster bagel. Very, very nice. I just had some very, very nice peaches and cream sweet corn locally grown here. And man, oh man, was that to die for. Thanks to uh, Nocturnal Butterfly making that for me. And as I'm as I'm talking here, I hear Junior upstairs. He's playing Fortnite, and the screams coming from his upstairs room is absolutely hilarious. Uh, let me see if I didn't miss anybody. Uh, okay, Chad Boston, yeah, you're good. I'm not sure what happened there, but you're you're fixed. Um, and Sean Zimmerman says, "Thanks, Eric. I just take it day by day." And you know what? Living life day by day is is a, a great way to go. And that's something I adopted for the past. I'm going to say about a year and a half because Nocturnal was very sick here. And I, maybe we'll just take a quick moment here to share that with you as well, too. Nocturnal was uh, very sick. We were almost fearing losing her. And a lot of you that are regulars here on the channel um, knew what we were struggling with. And she has, you know, uh, overcome it and is now um, a source of, you know, I, I don't want to swear here on the channel, but this will be the first time I'm going to swear on a channel full of piss and vinegar kicking our butts to, to go, go, go. She's working outside a little bit here and there, a few hours a day sometimes, and really motivating me. Uh, so long story short, I am thrilled uh, to see her back to almost uh, 100%. Well, I'm going to say 90% of where she was before. So uh, very, very nice. Uh, Scott Daniel is here as well, too. Um, and FNF Gamer says, uh, building a new guitar, if you didn't see my Instagram post. I'm a little tiny bit behind on Instagram. I did post uh, this evening. Uh, promoting the show tomorrow, but I do have to catch up. And I, I'm getting to the point right now, I, I can't keep up as much as I like. And so I'm delegating in, in, in the pretty much now and the immediate near future, all all social media stuff is going to be handled by Nocturnal Butterfly just because I can't balance the daily work job load, you know, from home here and the talk shows. And, you know, I'm kind of a victim of my own uh, punishment or whatever the, the cliche is. You know, if I was just doing one show, I could maybe handle it. But now I'm doing three. But uh, it's, it's, it is what it is, right? So let's jump into an unboxing, a couple unboxings. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do, I've got another one over here, which I'm not going to do until tomorrow because I'm recording that one off camera. It's another lighting video. And uh, so I'm going to save that for another day. But I am going to unbox this because this is some stuff that we need to jump into right away. I know there's some things I need for some video shoots coming up. And I have a rough idea what's in here, but not a full content, uh, you know, kind of a... Uh, uh, a list what's inside, but I do know there's something for myself and Nocturnal. So let's jump in here. And as Nocturnal always says, cut away from myself. So I'll do my very, very best. So we've got 21 people watching on a Friday or a Thursday evening. I don't even know what night it is anymore. All right. So cut away from myself, as she always says. All right. Yada, yada, yada. There's been no blood on camera yet. I'm thinking that maybe blood might get me more, more views. I don't know, but okay. And yes, I got that. Nocturnal. Nocturnal is my producer here. Not only does she run the chat efficiently, better than anything ever, she's texting me all kinds of show notes and things like that as well, too. So I got a note from her as well, too. Something that's very important. All right. So we got a bunch of things cramped. Road is just like, in, in a lot of ways, like Van Halen store. They pack a box the most efficient. They must be like masters at Tetris, or if they were movers, they would certainly be the world's best movers, getting the most efficient stuff in a small space. This is amazing. Like, look at this box. This box is crammed full of the most unique, packed way. Awesome. I would, you know what I would do? I would take one thing like this and stick it in a box, and I would ship it, and that would be it, and then I'd send another box to everything else. Okay, so I got a couple, looks like a couple, uh, a WS2, Windsock 2. So if you're looking what I'm speaking from right now here, and I bring another road mic over here, bring it down on the boom. Okay, this kind of deal. I've got a lot of road mics for my different guests and things like that. They're very nice. They're pop filters, windsocks, in other words. So I've got a whole bunch of other road mics actually over in the video studio in the other room. So I need some more of these. So these are going to come in great. Um, they'll be put to use great. I really like these. They really take away the pops and everything. So I'm going to try to flag, if I can where we left off. So I'm not missing anything here as well too. Okay, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna leave off at FNAF Gamers. I'm gonna come back with Chad Boston next after that. Okay, and then, oh, this is cool. This is kinda gonna, this is gonna probably give away. <laughs> I'm gonna save this one actually. You can see a little bit. Okay, it looks like I might've brought a rodent out of this box. Oh, get it, rodent. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to go there. Okay, so what we are gonna do 
All right, this is, we're gonna go with some small things first. It's, you always wanna build up. See how I'm, I'm always trying to go from smaller to bigger? So this is the Rode SC6. And what this allows you to do, try to show it to you there. That's very, very cool. Uh, what that does let you, it's a, it's a tip ring ring sleeve. So you see the three, the three lines here that'll plug into uh, most smartphone devices, uh, iPads, uh, um, you know, your Android type devices, anything that you want to record with a phone, whatever. And it allows you to have one microphone input and then two headphone inputs. Um, or in other words, maybe it's two headphones. Uh, let me see. Is it, or two mics? I'm not sure. But anyways, it allows, if you're going to do in interviewing with multiple people, uh, it's really, really cool. And if you're using strictly a smartphone device, as opposed to bringing a big rig like I normally bring to interview people with, very, very handy. So that's going to be a blessing for sure. And I think there might be two of those in here. I'm not 100% positive on that. I think there is. Okay, so one second. That's not the other thing. One second. Okay, so yes, indeed. I did get two. So I've got one for Nocturnal Butterfly, and I've got one for myself, which was probably one of these will duplicate to Junior. He'll probably be using one. And then I've got the SC1, as you can see that, which is the tip ring ring sleeve extension cable, 20 feet. So you can actually run that to one of these as well too. So now you've got 20 feet of extension to get away from your smartphone, which you'll probably have on a tripod or something of like that, or Gorilla, Gorilla Pod or something like that. And uh, so that extends that length as well too. So we've got two of these. So this is really cool. This is a brand new product just released from Rode, um, barely in store. So this is very, very new. The video mic Mi L. Let me show you that. So we have two of those, which is awesome. Can I get them on camera? So what this is, <clears throat> this is a brand new directional microphone for Apple devices. Now strictly for Apple, but the cool thing is it has a little pop out lightning. You can see it right there. Get the white balance on there. A little pop out that plugs into the lightning adapter on on your Apple device, and then on the back of it, as you can see right there you plug in your traditional headset. So now uh, the, re the reason I want to get this, I'll be doing a lot of a lot more mobile um, interviews. And I'm thinking the first place I may use this next Thursday night, a week from tonight, I'll be um, backstage with uh, Smashing Pumpkins in London, Ontario. They're playing uh, Budweiser Gardens. And I'm going to do a little bit of an interview um, with the band um, for EVH and Gear TV here as well too, and the Helix Hour as well, because I had Jeff Shorter, the guitarist from Smashing Pumpkins on the show. And I'm going to be interviewing them backstage and probably, as far as I know, doing a whole rig rundown on stage. So I'm thinking instead of traveling with all the big DSLR cameras and all my condenser microphones and things like this, I may go phone and bring this. But uh, that's going to be a, definitely a godsend there. And with Nocturnal Butterfly running her show, she's still going to be doing some things here and there with the Guitar News Network. We're not 100% not sure where that's going yet, but um, doing that with Leanne. And if she does continue with that, it's going to be a blessing for her there as well, too. So we have, so yeah, I said two of those. We got two of those, the video mic, uh, me L, and L stands for lightning. I think they make another one as well, too, without the L, which is, you know, for other products. And this is cool. This is something I already have, but I, I need another one. This one is the video mic pro plus. This is kind of the, the video mic pro was the kind of the default go-to microphone when it comes to an off-camera or on-camera uh, microphone to bypass what you're using in your DSLR for audio because the worst thing you can do is use your camera as your camera's built on a microphone. You're going to hear lens noise. You're going to hear, you're not actually going to hear that, but you're not going to hear anything else. The Video Mic Pro was a great microphone. Uh, and I have one of those, but then when Rode sent me the Video Mic Pro Plus, what I love about it is it, it comes with a rechargeable battery as opposed to having to use uh, 9 volt all the time. There's great enhancements with a safety channel. So if you're recording, you can actually have uh, left and right channels and the right channel having a safety pad. So you don't, if you, if someone uh, peaks really, really loud in your volume, you've got that safety net to bring that down. So that's very, very cool. So I've got a second one of these for my for my live shooting and uh, and actually over in the studio as well, too. It's going it's to be a godsend. And then as you saw earlier, when I said look like I had a rodent, this is the Dead Cat VMP, which will go over top of the Video Mic Pro Plus. Oh, yeah. Another thing I really do like about the Video Mic Pro Plus, this I love this. Picture this. We've all been in a situation, whether we're shooting a, you know, a birthday party, whether it be with your phone. Well, okay, we're going to take the phones out of the equation. We're going to go back to the old school when we used to use camcorders, right? Okay. Or maybe even a DSLR. A lot of us using that now for shooting video because they do great video. 
and we maybe you have a really cool microphone that's connected on top of it, whatever, and you forget to either hook it on or plug it in or even turn it on. That's happened to me before too. Um, I even even at NAM in 2017, I am I thought I actually forgot audio in some cases, and I was ready to cry because I thought I had no audio from interviews. But this thing, what this does. If your camera enables, I forget what the term is called, but basically kind of an auto power on signal. As soon as you turn on your camera, when this is plugged into the microphone jack, it automatically turns the microphone on. And when you shut your camera off, it turns the microphone off. So it's one of, for those run and gun guys that want to, guys and girls that want to get out there and shoot something real quick, turn on your camera, microphone is ready to go. Turn off your camera, microphone shuts off. So number one, it saves battery length. And number two, you never lose that shot, that crucial, crucial shot without having the audio so there we go that's a great a great addition from road and i'm really excited for nocturnal butterfly as well to have that as well because she's really getting into this and even if she doesn't pursue what she's doing right now which i hope it still works out for her um i'm really excited to have her you're going to see her at least hear her from time to time and maybe we'll see her over time on evh and gear tv and you're going to see a lot more of junior on here as well too especially with where he's going with his youtube channel so let's take a quick second and Go over the chat. I'll show you a little bit of what's coming in an unboxing from this other um, manufacturer here as well, too. That's going to be something I'm producing off the camera. Uh, I'll be one of it. Won't be. I mean, in other words, not a live uh, unboxing. Uh, so uh, Chad Boston says I'm excited about Kramer Corner. Me too. I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm 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 so excited. I've shared I've shared the intro video <laughs> to a couple of my friends. And I want to share it with the world, but if I share it with the world, then there's no impact tomorrow. And I'm the worst one to keep secrets. You know, I always, I always want to let stuff boom, you know, and go out there. I think it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. And am I nervous for it? Sure, sure, I'm nervous for it. It's a new show, and uh, who knows where it's going to go. But I feel, I feel relatively confident. I'm, you know, you have done. I've done two other shows now, so I, I feel somewhat confident going into this. But it's going to be really cool. It's just one of those things where now it's like, okay, here we go. We're, we're, we're moving forward. Nocturnal's got a great merchandise lineup that we're going to launch tomorrow. And trust me, this merchandise lineup, we're not going to make a million dollars off of this stuff by any means. It's going to be, you know, pennies on the dollar. But those, there's, there's, I won't go into full details on this, but there's a company I used to work for many, many years ago. It was an internet company. And I really, really thought this guy was great. Um, he was an innovator in, in the company. It was kind of an, a new startup in the in the area. And it was this is back in the dial-up days uh, of internet. You know, remember the squawks and squeals. And then we got it, it slightly moved into towards DSL. And as much as, as all these subscribers come into his service, he took that dollar value and reinvested back into the company. Reinvested back into the company. Didn't take a paycheck home ever. And so, if, long story short, that's what we're trying to do here with EVH and Gear TV, the Helix Hour, and now uh, Kramer Corner, is we are trying to uh, reinvest, right? So we're reinvesting um, back into the into the show. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what she's got coming for us, but I know it's going to be pretty cool. I know it's going to be very, very cool. So looking forward to that. So... Uh, let me see. Chad Boston says, uh, I'm glad Nocturnal Butterfly is better. Lau Ketchum says, great news. Congrats. Excited for Saturday. I'll be turning 27. Fantastic. Insomnia. That's 27. I, I call anyone under 30, under 30 years old, a kid. Uh, Matt Harrison is here. What's happening? All Fender Guru. How's David Ennis? Uh, let me see here. Jay's Tacos and Guitars. Nocturnal Butterfly for the win. Good to see you, buddy. And Jay's Tacos and Guitars. I saw a post from my good friend, Jeff today. Um, who's actually a winner here on, on one of our shows on the Helix Hour. He won a cool Helix. Awesome. And he's getting back to uh, ramping up his YouTube channel. So please click on his name and go see his YouTube channel. He's doing very, very well with that. Um, and he um, took a little break like we all do. Sometimes you just have to get away from things to, r to kind of see, you know, see what you want to do with it. And he's back at it. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let me see here. Um, what else we got? Happy early birthday from everybody. For, uh, and Hank Coffee says, laugh out loud. Uh, Terry, how's your mom? Let me see here. FNF Gamers just saw the movies and you won't cut your... Uh, just think of the Saw movies and you won't cut yourself. And yeah, that last Saw movie, wasn't that something else? I think that was one of the scariest ones ever. Um, let me see here. I scrolled too fast. Uh, Michael Madej is here saying, hey, everyone. Hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, let me see where else are we at here. Now, I hope I haven't missed anything for tomorrow. It's really, really cool. And And... 
I, as you know, I'm kind of talking in different directions a mile a minute here. So don't worry. EVH and Gear TV is going to be regular Friday nights every night. And I just happened to pick tomorrow night as the launch of it. But uh, we're, we're going to be moving that to another night. And uh, I will let you know. Watch watch the Facebook page, facebook.com slash EVH Gear TV for uh, an, an announcement that way. Um, and then coming up, I guess what next, I guess next Friday would be the 10th. I've have a guitarist, uh, Chelsea constable coming on the show. She does an amazing, and I, and I want to repeat the word amazing cover of eruption. Uh, she's amazing. She's, uh, I believe she's endorsing sewer guitars. Um, j- just absolutely incredible. And she breaks her eruption lesson down into about 12 different parts. It's really cool. It's one of the most viewed eruption tutorials on YouTube up, up there with Pete Thorne and all those, uh, you know, great players out there. So she's coming in. I think it's going to be fun, relaxed, and a really cool look. So that's coming back up. Uh, let me see. What else am I missing here? Uh, Jim Dale's fourth show idea, Road Warriors. Okay. Uh, Nocturnal Butterfly, buy that domain right now, roadwarriors.com. I like it. I, I do. <laughs> I like it, Jim. I like it. Okay. Uh, Michael Bidet says, hey, Nocturnal Butterfly. That's a really good one, Jim. I like it. I do. I do like that. Um, let me see here. Where else are we at? I'm just trying to get to a few more. Okay, there we go. Nocturnal Butterfly put in the, the fantastic link to our friends at Rode. I, I, I got to take a quick second there and, and really thank Rode. Rode, Rode come on board with uh, us on EVH and Gear TV. Probably, uh, I, hats off, first of all. Let's go, let's, let's go all the way back. 300 subscribers. When I hit 300 subscribers, uh, the Van Halen store, Jeff Hausman from Van Halen News Desk and Van Halen Store come on. I was talking to Jeff earlier tonight as well, too, on Facebook. And they come on and sponsor the show at 300 subscribers. So that was pretty awesome. So l- let me say that. To anyone that's out there following the path of YouTube and, and you know, hoping to just, just pr- pr- produce content, have fun out there, Never, ever let anyone tell you you can't do it. Never, never take no for an answer. And never let haters, commenters, naysayers ever bring you down. Because if I was to ever listen to the naysayers and the haters and all these other people, I would have stopped long before I started the YouTube channel. I would have stopped back in the day when I was playing guitar in front of five people, 50 people, 5,000 people. And I didn't play for the 5,000 people as much as I like to, but I did. I played for even more than that. But my point is, if you if you focus on the people that tell you you should not be doing what you're doing, um, it, it's going to be a really rough ride for you. So let, let me be an example. Bringing on someone like Van Halen Store at 300 subscribers, if I can do it, you can do it too. Do not listen to naysayers and go forward and believe in what you do and share it with your family and friends, and you will do very, very well. So... Van Halen store is still with me today and I'm very blessed. I'm wearing the clothing that they provide and I'm blessed and I'm very thankful. Road come in slightly at their sh- shortly thereafter. And I'm not sure hundred percent where somewhere around 700 subscribers and they've been with me ever since. And this is, this goes to show you my loyalty to brands. Okay. I'm very loyal to brands. Road has been, they furnished everything you you hear when I speak is pr- provided to you by a road microphone I've had other companies and I have some people in the chat right now. Some people will know this for a fact because I've communicated with them directly about this. There's been people that have approached me, other microphone companies that would like me to do a demo on a product. And as much as that sounds cool, as much as they'll say, here, we'll send you some products, whatever you can keep them, blah, blah, blah. I will say to them, and I never, ever want to burn a bridge. I will say, thank you. Huge. I really, really appreciate this opportunity, but I cannot. I cannot do this demo. I, I, in, in good faith, I cannot do this demo. As a matter of fact, this company here that provides lights also manufactures microphones. And, and this, this is a, a true testament. They recently approached me to do a demo on um, some more of these lights. And they also manufacture wireless microphones. Really, really good microphones. And who knows how good they are. They could be phenomenal. But I, I told them, I said, yes, I'll do a demo on your light. Uh, and I would, and what you're seeing, this light shining on my face right now, is a beautiful, beautiful ring light. You saw me do the video on it. It's on my, it's on my uh, channel right now. Uh, that's just one of the fill lights here. I love these things. I use them, but I will not do a, something if someone is really good to me in a, lo- a long-term relationship. I will not deviate that, and I'm not going to do a review on another microphone that competes with this. And Rode appreciates that, even though I know they probably wouldn't care too much if I said, okay, here's another microphone, but. I love them. I, I love them and I use them um, and I won't deviate from that. So um, that's why I won't do those things. 
but so I have another uh, lighting review to do on that as well too. And actually, we'll we'll take a peek at that as well. This is gonna be really cool. This is a big one. This is a, a big heavy duty light. So that ring light that I'm talking about, I absolutely love this thing because it gives me just a little bit of fill uh, here, like uh, downwards, and I've got, obviously got some back fill back there as well too. But this is a big one and it's very heavy. This one is. The Generay SSL 36, 36 inch soft, or I guess they call it soft strip LED. And it, which is like a lot of the Generay lights that I've shown you here on the channel here before, it'll go from a 10% to 100% um, like dimming, dimming rate. So if you want to dim it right down, like the ring light I have on my face right now is, um, is at about 10%. If I was to turn that to 100%, you wouldn't see anything. And I can also change the temperature from a daylight to, uh, to a tungsten. But this is awesome. 36 inch daylight balance LED light, uh, built in barn doors, lollipop style mount included, 100 to 10% dimming, operates on battery or plug in power, 256 LEDs, 50,000 hours of bulb life, and quiet fanless operation. So this one is going to be kind of a fill light over in my green screen studio, which is just off, you can't see it off, it's in another room, but that's where we're doing a lot of our green screen work. And uh, this thing is very, very heavy duty. So this will probably be coming out of the box tomorrow in an unboxing video tomorrow or Saturday. I've got to shoot two videos. Actually, how many videos do we have to shoot for Junior? Junior is doing product reviews as well too. He's got two or three in the can that we have to get finished and get those out. Uh, Nocturnal is doing a lot as well for her thing. So we're, like I said, a very active YouTube channel here and uh, we're really excited. So that's basically what all I wanted to talk to you about tonight was to share some excitement with you. New merchandise lineup that I haven't even seen yet that we will see tomorrow night. So basically, as you guys and girls will tomorrow watch the program, you're going to see it and uh, I'm going to see it together. There is one other thing I do want to say tonight. This is really cool. And this is not this is not a product endorsement. This is not a product uh, speech or you know something that was given to me. This is something I bought online. This is something I want to share. That it's kind of it's a blessing and it's frustrating at the same time. And let me just have a look, make sure I'm not missing anything else in the chat. There's a lot of lot of chat questions. I always miss these things. Um, let me try to go back to where I was. Okay, so uh, I'd like to know actually in the in the chat comments, comment right now and tell me for the most part, what you guys and girls for your guitars use for strap locks. I would like to ask you that. And I'm going to tell you what I use, and I've been using for the life as a, as a semi-professional musician. As soon as these things came on the market, I was a customer, and I was using the traditional uh, Shaler strap locks, okay? Those guys. See those things? Trad and I've got so many of these. Every guitar, except for the, the last few guitars that have come in, I've been furnished with Shaler strap locks. I'd really like to see what you guys are using. And I had guitarist Bill Lanero come on the show um, ab about, uh, I'm going to say roughly close to a month back, a few weeks back. And he manufactures a product called, is it, it's strap, a strap Tight. And I think it's straptight.com. And, and he manufactures the most unique. It's one of those things where you, you see these innovations or inventions and you kick yourself in the butt saying, saying to yourself, why did I not think of this? And literally, this is one of those products where you say, why did I not think of this? So here's his original one. Do I have two of them here? Yeah, okay. Here's his original one. Oop, there goes that strap lock. Let's get it. Not that I'm going to be using that anymore, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So here's strap tight, right? That's the original one. It looks like a bread tie. Okay, it looks like a bread tie. They're like a, some kind of a Kevlar plastic kind of a, a PVC type material, and in this case, there's four of them in a pack. So really what they do is they just go over, you put your strap on the guitar on your original strap button and you slide these on and your strap will not come off. Then he got really innovative with his company and made these ones here. Can you see those? So those, those come in a four pack. I mean, they come in more as well too, but, but I bought a four pack and I bought these ones here. I think what I'm going to do, I haven't opened these ones yet. And as much as I love these and I know they'll be good, I'm going to give these ones away just in a giveaway. It'll be kind of a random comment in one of my videos coming up. So I'm not even going to open this package. And the only reason why, because I like the round ones better. I, I know I will like the round ones better because I'm using them right now. I'm going to give these away just, just for fun. It'll just be a random comment. I'll do that real soon. But here's the thing. I asked Bill Lanero. He said uh, he's very, very good friends with Joe Satriani. And he was over at Joe Satriani's house. And uh, Joe Sat he showed Joe Satriani the strap locks. And Joe's like, wow, this is cool. He popped it on. He goes... Would you like an endorser or would you like someone to endorse this product? And I think, and I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I think Joe was the first endorser of the product. And so I asked Bill, he's, Bill says, well, Joe doesn't use conventional strap locks like, like, you know, like these and, you know, the other style. 
And I said, are you at liberty to tell me why? Because I didn't know. I mean, I probably could have found this out if I researched online, but uh, I don't know everything. And I said to, to Bill, I said, can you tell me why Joe doesn't like to use conventional strap locks? And here you go. Joe, Joe is a tone purist. And if you think of these things, you got your metal uh, uh, insert on your strap and it going on here and it, it rattle, 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 that weak, that kind of squeaky, squeaky, squeaky sound. You're playing through a high gain amplifier that transfers. And I've noticed that for a fact because I've done some demos here online with my traditional strap locks and I've heard squeaks and squawks and it can get annoying. So by using the, by, you know, either one of those, you have your original strap lock, you have your strap, and then you put these on. They will not come off. And the cool thing is, think about this too. I, most guitar players here will probably tell you, will agree to this, that once you take that original strap button off, that kind of a small screw, put on your Shaler strap locks. And here again, please don't think I'm trying to slam Shaler because I've been a customer for 30 years or however long they've been in business, I've been a customer. Um, you have to put the bigger screw in. So that's cool. That's all said and done. That's fine. But tell me you have not had to readjust those screws, stick in some toothpicks, stick in some epoxy, whatever it is to make that screw fit. Whereas with your regular straps, as much as we, you know, a lot of us change them right away, straps and strap buttons, they seem to last forever. So you're not, you're not modifying your guitar. You're not touching anything. There's no noise transferred from the strap lock. Now, sure, with Eddie Van Halen with his dog chain and the hooks and things like that, there's no, some noise in that as well too. But you know, if you're going to go down that path, you're doing it for a reason. You want to be exactly uh, like Eddie Van Halen as well too. So, so you're going to get some noise like that. It's, those things are not meant to be quiet. Um, but I really like them. I do recommend them highly. And straptight.com. Uh, have a look. Trust me. I'm not a paid endorser. I'm not even an endorser. I bought these. Um, I just, I'd be feeling I'd be doing a lot of you an injustice, you know, but you're getting a real nice expensive guitar or your, or even if it's a cheaper guitar, don't need to modify them. Get these, get a really cool strap and you're off to the races. Let's jump back over to chat and we're going to wrap up. And, uh, as you can see, I'm just very excited for tomorrow. Uh, let me see here. Uh, where do we leave off? I know there's a whole bunch. Let me scroll down just a little bit. Um, I think I saw L. John is here, possibly. I think I saw him in the chat. I see his name if I can get down to him, which I'm really excited about. Uh, Sean Zimmerman says, awesome, Billy Corgan. That's going to be really, really cool. I haven't I haven't met any of the people in Smashing Pumpkins, um, but what's really cool that way is I know Billy is a huge Eddie Van Halen fan, uh, so this can be. I'm sure there's going to be some good Van Halen stories. I haven't had the chance to even meet any of the band, but I had a real nice conversation for 60 minutes with uh, Jeff Schroeder, uh, as, as he was a guest on the Helix Hour and a, a, a fine gentleman, well-spoken and, uh, was, was a great pleasure to, to talk with. Uh, so looking forward to that. That'll be next Thursday and we may be seeing him in Toronto as well too. Um, but I'm not positive on that. Okay. And got that. Okay. I'll say my production assistant is giving me some notes and let me see here. Uh, so we got, um, uh, Chris Link is here saying way cool junior and Nocturnal Butterfly posted juniors link as well here too. So he's doing really good. I'm really proud of the, proud of the boy. He's doing really good. He's got a couple of things coming up as I mentioned and Lau Ketchum says, you've got mail. Okay. So if you've sent me mail, I'll check it. If not, I'm a little slow on the party. So I may have missed what the reference was. Hey, this is cool. This is really cool. George Akara's here. I'm going to say Kara or Kara. I'm going to, I'm going to think it's Kara says hello from Melbourne, Australia. Finally get a chance to watch a live show. Happy dance. Melbourne, Australia is in the house tonight with Road. I love Road to Death. I love Australia. And and um, uh, G George, I want to come to Australia very, very bad. It's one of the places on my bucket list of all places to uh, to visit. Now, Nocturnal is scared because she's scared of these uh, spiders that are the size of dinner plates and things like that. Um, so I'm... Uh, I, I, <laughs> I want to get there and maybe someday we'll arrange something with road, maybe do a broadcast from road uh, headquarters. That would be fantastic over in Sydney. And I think uh, Jay's uh, tacos and guitars is asking for a link on the straps. So that is um, straptight.com. Yeah, exactly. Straptight.com. So if I can get the link, do me a favor, just check them out. And again, I get nothing for saying this. I didn't get these for free. I bought these. It's it's a worthy investment. Carlos Anton is in the chat. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if he's in the chat here or not, but I was talking to him off the air a few minutes ago. He bought some as well from the very same night that we had them on the air, and he loves them. So fantastic. Uh, let me see. Who else am I missing here? I think we're probably getting to the very, very end. So thank you, Australia, for joining. That is absolutely fantastic. James Severn is here. What's up, Home Slice? Nice to have you here, James. Um, 
And Lyle Ketchum says, it's so cool to see you, see you take off like this. Thank you, Lyle. And you know, it's, it, it's a takeoff. Yes. And, and it's, it's still slow. Like, you know, compared to the, you know, the Phil McKnight's and the Frog Leap Studios and, you know, all these people out there, I'm still minuscule in, in the little pond of YouTubers out there, the ocean of YouTubers. I'm just in the little pond. But I do, I appreciate each and every one of you. I f- treat every one of my subscribers like they're a friend and, and you mean so much to me and the three of us here in the family. It's very, very important to us. We never, we never take a single person for granted. And uh, you'd be surprised how much we talk about subscribers here on the channel because a lot of the subscribers, not all of you, of course, but a lot of the subscribers here are friends of the family. And, you know, if you're going through, uh, you know, trauma with your families or illnesses or losses, we feel it with you and and, uh, you're very, very important to us. So please always remember that. And I'd much rather be able to communicate with a smaller number of people and know what everybody's doing than, you know, I'm sure the day may come where there's going to be larger numbers, but we will, as a family, the three of us here will work very hard to stay connected with each and every one of you and, uh, you know, be part of that family. And that's, that's what I really want you to feel here as part of a family. Very important. Um, and Chad Boston says, I'm living proof to not say, listen to naysayers. Exactly. Never listen to them. Never listen to them. Um, Okay, so did I, okay, so, okay, let me see. Okay, one second here. Strap tight. Strap locks. Strap lock. <laughs> Nocturnal. Strap locks. Okay, uh, let me see here. Uh, continue on down the chat. Uh, George Carr says, well, uh, we said Eric, infinity and beyond. I love that. Buzz Lightyear reference. Um, and Nocturnal Butterfly says, uh, haters are my inspiration. Exactly. As, as I like to say it, and I don't, I don't want it. I, I'm not even going to uh, reference a Gene Simmons reference here, but I'm just going to say, like I said earlier, there, are, every, every person who does something and puts themselves out there is going to have a hater, whether you're a public speaker, whether you're a comedian, whether you're an artist, whether you're a, a musician, whether you are uh, a, a sports um, figure, whatever it may be, you are going to have haters. And you can either let them kill your dream or in case like what we do as a family, we're, we are going to let our haters put our, put our generations of kids through college. Okay, so you wait and see. Um, let me see here. Uh, James Severn says, loyalty is something that's hard to come by these days. Nice. Yes. Thank you. Um, and let me see. I, I scroll too fast again. This is crazy. I have a crazy chat for a, for a Thursday evening. This is, this is nuts. And you know what's going to happen here? I, I know she's not willing to do this yet, but we're going to get Nocturnal Butterfly in here on the uh, second computer. Uh, we have enough microphones, enough computers in the studio here that she can run this because <laughs> I need someone to run this chat and I need someone that knows how to do it well and she knows how to do that. Uh, Mike Francis is jumping in saying, uh, hey guys, sorry I'm late. There's no penalty here for lateness ever. There's no tardy slips and uh, unless it's a giveaway, then you might miss out. And you know what? I'm going to be... The, oh yeah, what the heck am I missing? Tomorrow... I was saying Friday as in I was thinking it was next Friday, but it's actually literally tomorrow. Tomorrow's a crazy day. The uh, Jim Dunlop MXR 5150 Chorus EVH pedal is coming in. Uh, it's going to be, you know, again, the same motif as the 5150 Overdrive, the flanger, and that same kind of footprint anyways, more of a blue and white stripe motif. That's arriving from Jim, Jim Dunlop tomorrow, and uh, I'm not keeping it. It's being sent to me to do a review. And I told them right off the get-go, uh, I want to pass this on to EVH and Gear TV subscribers. So we'll do a really cool contest. I'm going to make it very, very simple for you. We'll probably do a live broadcast, and we'll give it away during the live broadcast. Not going to be any hoops or jumps or dog and pony show. It's going to be very, very simple. Uh, so that's coming in tomorrow. i will be a brief demo on it. And, of course, you know, I would like to keep it. Uh, of course I want to keep it. It's, it's EVH stuff, right? But... There's always tomorrow. And talking to Jeff at Van Halen store, he's just got a, uh, a very few limited stock in right now as well, too. So all of our fans here watching the show knows they can go to Van Halen store and get one at very reasonable prices. And I think, don't please don't quote me, but I think, he, I, think I saw tonight that they have free shipping within the continental United States. But don't quote me on that because I'm not positive, but I think so. So watch that demo and a giveaway. It's another pay it forward. Uh, and Somniac Matt says, well, I just realized the tell says Kramer Corner and not... Kramer Corner and not Kramer Corner. I'm not sure. I, I'm a little slow to the party sometimes, and, uh, and I'm not sure if, if I'm missing something there. Uh, Jay's Tacos Guitar says, Demarzio Clip Locks. Those are cool, but 
and here again, not a slam to DiMarzio. Those ones you got to leave on the guitar all the time. And I had some as well, too. And even on some of my Kramer guitars, believe it or not, I had those DiMarzio clip-on straps. But I kind of like these ones um, just because you can pick your favorite strap. And, you, you know, with the DiMarzio, they're all the kind of the same strap. But I, I'm not certainly not knocking that brand uh, by any means. Um, but these, I think, are really, really cool. Um, as I showed Aljon the other day, um, or I was telling him, at least we we're talking, to, um, we we're kind of talking about the show tomorrow night off the air and I was telling him about these strap locks and I was like, you know, I love these things. The only thing I don't like about them, here's the only thing I don't like about these strap tight strap locks is now I've got about, you know, two dozen guitars here in the studio that have Shaler strap locks that I'm not going to retrofit. I'm not going to take them back off and put original strap buttons on now because I've put in the larger screws. They won't fit through the strap button. So it's a, I'm really bummed. I really wish I would have known about this product a long time ago because I wouldn't have to have damaged my guitars by putting in these larger screws, always having to adjust them. So every guitar that comes into this house now, you know, more Kramer guitars coming down the road, more EVH guitars and things like that. Every single guitar that comes into this house will not be modified as far as those strap buttons. I'll be using the strap tight strap locks. There's, there's such a cheap, cheap, cheap investment and like joe satriani says in an interview talking about these uh these uh, strap locks he says like it's such a small small investment like less, like it's like a couple cups of coffee to protect our greatest investment in some of our cases of our guitars um and even joe's like it's one of those things where i really wish i would have thought about it so you know and that maybe that's a lesson to you as well too if you come up with an idea don't just say, oh, okay, this is something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maybe uh, act on tomorrow. Act on it now because if Bill had not acted on this, and, and I think he has some partners as well too, if he had not acted on this, someone else might have. So hats off. I'm not going to do it because I'm having a bad hair day, but hats off and kudos to Bill Nero and his team at Straptite for coming up with a great invention and acting on it. Uh, I, had an, I had an invention idea back in the day. This is a throwback to Kramer Guitars as well too. It goes to show you how far back I go. I had an idea for the... Uh, one of the world's first wireless guitars. I had an 80 wireless, like an old 201 or 101, whatever it was, VHF or whatever it was back in the day. And I took out the circuit board and I actually routed out a comp uh, compartment on the back of my Kramer Striker, stuck it inside there and put a little toggle on the guitar. And there was not even a, a jack on the guitar. So basically the, the signal ran to the jack on the internal. All I had to do is toggle on the, um, the switch and then I was wireless. And then someone either Kramer directly uh, back in the day or someone, I forget, third-party service had come up with that wireless guitar. And because I didn't act on it, I lost out. So always act on your ideas. And you might be told there's someone else doing it, but hey, if you don't act on it, someone else is going to. Uh, let me see here. What else am I missing? We're going to be wrapping up here in a moment. We are at uh, 1027 Eastern Standard Time. It's a late one here. And this old man has to go to bed soon. Um, and I'll be, it's going to be a full day tomorrow with production. Like I'm almost ready for the show tomorrow, but I'm literally working on this one to the midnight hour. So I'll be working around the clock until, uh, Kramer corner kicks around tomorrow night. And, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm just as excited as you guys are for the show because it's, it's a whole new thing again too. And I really love doing this stuff. I love interacting with you guys and Kramer has a legacy. It's, it's fun as heck. I mean, Kramer, I mean, you got to think about this back in the day when we like from people, my age, when we were kids, teenagers, whatever, every, you had to have a Kramer. You had to have a Kramer. Eddie Van Halen had a Kramer. Vivian Campbell had a Kramer. All these people, you know, all, everybody had a great, you know, Richie Sambora. It goes on and on and on and on. It was an artist driven, co driven company. And that's something we're going to be talking about tomorrow. How artists really drove this company disappeared for a little while, obviously, and uh, they're back and they're they're making guitars exact. It's almost like, OK, let's take a break for umpteen years. And now we're back again. And we're going to pick up right where we left off. And uh, I'd be really surprised to hear if there's people saying this isn't the guitar that I used to play years ago. It's amazing. So I'm really excited about that. Um, let me see here. I hope I'm not missing too much. Yeah, eye bolts. Dan Halen's talking about the eye bolts, like with the eye hooks with uh, Eddie Van Halen. And uh, FNF Gamer says, I've never used legit strap locks only because the strap that I got from my friend was one of those spring locks that you can pull back and release. Yeah, okay, there exactly. Um, I see Will Dunham is in the chat. Will Dunham, happy to see you, buddy. Uh, very nice, always. Um, and Jim Dale says, strap tights. I cannot say enough about the uh, the round ones. There you go. So I think I think what Bill Lanero, uh, Lanero learned is like, the, the bread tie style was cool, but now you've got a wider circumference in the round ones, and they're they're actually over overall easier to snap on. So trust me, if you're not satisfied with those things, I will be very, very surprised. 
And like I say, probably your only disappointment is going to be like I face with a dozen guitar, several dozen guitars with shalers. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those things we can't change that now. So I'm going to have to have some real nice straps with the strap tights. And I'm going to be using my other ones that are fitted with the, uh, um, the, uh, the, uh, strap tights and the shalers as well. So, um, let me see here. Control down a little bit more. Uh, uh, Law Ketchum says Dunlop dual design strap lock. And you know, so I'm going to show you something here's, here's, and this here again, this is not a, a bitch fest on, on, um, on, uh, the shalers because I've been, like I said, I've been using them forever, but I'm going to show you something. I'm going to grab a strap here right now. Let's grab, I've got a million straps, like literally a million straps with shaler locks on them. Okay. Let me grab one. Just pull one off here if I can. All right. So here is actually, this was one I used on the stage forever. A very nice heavy duty Dunlop strap, okay? Very heavy duty. Okay, and as you can see, I've got black shaler strap locks on them. Now here's where a person could go wrong with these, and I have as well too. Okay, so this is going to be on the guitar like this, right? And I've got, picture that as a horseshoe. See the horseshoe like that? Now, if I have my strap lock like this, it's cradling it it can't fall down. It cannot fall down. So if this pin was to fail, no problem, right? But if you were to reverse that, which I've done before, you had that horseshoe hanging down. It depends on how you mount this thing. If that pin was to fail, as it falls, it your guitar falls. So if user error, which is very possible, I've done it, other people have done it. If you don't have that horseshoe in the right direction, if it's point, pointing down and that pin fails, your guitar is going to fall. So these things are great for what they are. As I lock one on, that is not going anywhere. But now we've got a much larger screw, as you can see there, compared to what comes on your guitar. And you might think, well, the, the screw that comes on my guitar is not very big. But how, how often have you ever had to really tighten those? And if you do, you tighten them once. But once you put these things in there, your basswood guitar and various compositions of uh, woods in your guitar, you're going to be tightening those, even if it's once every few months, every six months, whatever. But you're ever you're going to be forever tightening those. And I'm like I say, I'm certainly not trying to take away sales from from Shaler. Shaler makes some great products. It's not a slam at all. And I've been a life a lifer customer. So it's just something now. I'm educated now that there's something else as an alternative. You know, you like Pepsi, you like Coke. There's alternatives, right? Whatever is works for you. Uh, okay, there's a question coming up here as well too. I'm going to wrap this up right away because I really don't have a lot of other content for you and I don't certainly don't want to bore you. And that's something I hope you always realize here um, on the show. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Okay. That's why we do EVH and Gear TV at 90 minutes. Helix Hour is 60. Uh, Kramer Corner is going to be 90 minutes as well too. Even though sometimes when the show is rolling like gangbusters, it's 90 minutes. I want you guys to always want more and never be bored. Uh, so that's, and I always, I never want to overstay my welcome. Uh, let me see here. Um, Rubber topper, okay, cool, that's from Chad. Mike Francis, cool, I did have to get some of those. Zach Thong saying, hey Eric, nice to see you, Zach. And Aljon is here, he says, although I do use Dun Dunlop locks for the most part, I use this strap tight from my custom shop guitars. And and you know, Aljon, you nailed that right on the head, especially wh where you come from with the guitars that you work with on a daily basis and own. It's, it's almost sacrilegious to take a $5,000, $10,000 guitar and take that strap button off and put in a giant, you know, as I don't even know measurements, but you know, a much larger screw into that guitar and forever changing that guitar. And if you're the tonal purist, like these Joe Satriani's of the world, you know, like, okay, you hear that squeaky, 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 uh, when you're recording, maybe not so much live, I'm sure you can get away with it live, but the tonal purist won't want that. So Aljon, that is a great statement and it's great to see you here, buddy. And believe me, I am so happy to kick off tomorrow's show with Aljon. I could not be happier. Um, I think you're going to see two guys geeking out over guitars. It just happens to be Kramer guitars tomorrow night. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about this. Um, I mean, Aljon has a decades of podcast and in radio broadcast experience. I think it's going to be like, uh, you know, two friends just sitting down having coffee. It's going to be great. Uh, how big are those Eric's? That's from Jace. They're about the size of, I want to say here in Canada, we used to have like silver dollars. I'm trying to think of the size of them. Okay, you know what I can do? Let's try this. Let's try a guitar pick. How about I do this? How about I put a guitar pick up to one of these? How would that be? I'll give you a... You see that? Does that give you a bit of an idea of the size? That would hopefully give you a size. I don't have anything else to really measure it by. Um, 
I guess that's probably the the best way to measure it. So they're not they're not huge, and they look very very nice on the strap. I got my Kramer outside on the couch. I wish I could go run and grab it, but I have it on a Joe Satriani strap out there, which I really like. And it just it, you don't even see it. It's just it, it's uh, in a tr- uh, not non intrusive whatever. So it's very very nice. Um, let me see here. Continuing down, um, uh, eye bolts won't let you down. No, they won't. That's true. That's from Dan Halen for sure. I I the only reason, and this is funny. A lot of the guys out there that are chasing Eddie Van Halen tone and, and the replica guitars and all those things, whether you're buying the EVH brand or you're making your own, they always go after the eye hooks and a, what is the right size eye hook. I'll be the first to admit, I chase that stuff like no tomorrow, but I've never once in my entire history of uh, doing guitar, even building my own EVH guitars, I've never put the eye hooks on there because I've always wanted them to fit in my guitar cases and things like that. So I've never done that, but uh, I probably will someday. I'm probably going to build some 5150s or something like that, and I'll go uh, eye hooks and stuff like that. And Ron Baines says, I used to click it guitar strap. Cool. Um, I'm not sure if I know that one 100% if it's probably like the Demarcio or something like that, but I will take a look because I'm always interested in hearing uh, new products. So thank you for that uh, that suggestion, Ron. Um, okay, so uh, Gino Fix has posted a link for the strap locks. I think Nocturnal did that. And here again, I'm probably t- 20 questions behind. Um, let me see here. Uh, what else here? Gino, okay, so we got the link. Uh, ever thought of maybe having David Lee Roth or Sammy Hager on the show? You know, it's really funny. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, FNF gamers, that's a really good question because I recently did a show with um, Dave and Dave on Chain Podcast. And sorry, I have a, something in my tooth. One second. Um, that's better. And they asked me the same question. What about, would you ever have Sammy Hager on the show? And uh, I'm like, that's that's a very awkward, that's a very awkward uh Question because obviously there's some bad blood between Sammy Hager and Eddie Van Halen, so the chances are probably no. And the fact that if Dave, if Sammy Hager or David Lee Roth ever were in the communique of getting on the show, it probably never happened in a million years, anyways. But if the opportunity happened, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd much rather grab uh, David Lee Roth over Sammy Hager. And I do like Sammy Hager for his what he contributed to Van Halen over the years, but I'm a David Lee Roth guy through and through, so. It is what it is. So, but no, I don't think that'll ever happen. It's cool though. It's great to think about. Um, and that was an AOL joke. Okay, yeah. You, okay, I got it. Yeah. So that was probably an age joke when Lyle Ketchum says that was an AOL joke. You've got mail. No, I remember that. I remember hearing that. Literally, that was my that was my life back then. Uh, and Mike Francis says, glad you guys are going to have a merch store. Been hoping for that. And yeah, that's the thing. I sold merch before. Had little pieces here and there, um, but never got into it full force. And Thanks to Nocturnal Butterfly and whatever she's cooking. Uh, she's always got my best interest uh, and our best interest now. This is a family brand now. This is this is something we do together and uh, we, we grow on YouTube together. So this is she's looking after this and we're going to have merch. It should be pretty cool from what she says. Um, okay, that's cool. Jim Dales asked a question saying, could you ask Billy Corgan if he wants a custom EVH like Jack White? That's a very good question. And you know what, Jim, please do me a favor because I may forget this. And there's been sometimes I forgot some really good questions and I'll, I'll do my best to go back and watch this chat after. But Jim, you and I are friends. Uh, send me a message that don't remind me of this. Okay, please. Because that's a very, very good question. And I would like to ask Billy that next week. It's a week from tonight. And uh, I would feel really bad if I didn't ask that question. So please send me a Facebook message and, and remind me to ask that. Okay. And I will do that. Um, let me see here. Where else? Mike Francis t-shirts will be on my list. I, I can design f- for you too. Cool. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that at all. And holy cow, man, I'm so bad at the chat. Um, let me see. Zach Thong says you rock. Eric. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sincerely. Uh, Jay's talk was you love you guys. You're amazing. Okay. We got the link to straptight.com. Thank you. Dan Hill, Eric and the fam. Thumbs up. Um, <laughs> Uh, Terry says, so you're going to do the Howard Stern setup then? Maybe. Who knows, right? Uh, and Tommy X says, I saw some videos on the 5150 chorus. I like how it's more of a subtle chorus effect. Yes, exactly. That's where people go wrong with some chorus pedals. Uh, they they go over the top. They they just so, so wet. And I like how on this one it has several dB of, um, like, I don't know the exact increments. I have a picture I shared on Facebook earlier, but there's several increments of dB boosts or cuts. So you can have it just, just barely there. And then extremely crazy. And I, I'm going to recommend right away before I even play the pedal. I'm going to recommend to the most of our, our watchers here on the show that watch um, the regular channel that run it through the front of the amp and not through the loop. But, you, but there's no right or wrong. But you're probably going to run it to the front of the amplifier. It's going to be really cool. 
Uh, let me see. Nocturnal Butterfly says giveaways. Yes, they're coming. Uh, more giveaways, and I'm going to make them nice and easy for the most part. Let me see here. Uh, share the channel, guys. It really helps. Yes, the, I appreciate it. Mike Francis says, share this channel, guys. It really helps, Eric. It does. It helps tremendously. It helps tremendously. And like I say, too, as well, even with the merchandise store that's launching tomorrow, this is not going to be something that we're going to be rolling in the money with by any means. It's it's those little things like I talked about earlier about the, the guy I knew that run the Internet company. Uh, it's reinvesting to keep the programming coming, to coming, whether it's buying this or buying that over here to maybe it's a better webcam or maybe it's a better this or that. It's reinvested to keep bringing you guys and girls the best content that I can physically give you. I'm not going to say the best content on the internet. I'm not that person to say that, but it's going to be the best content that I can give you. And I want to make it as visually appealing and audio uh, appealing as possible. So that's where the reinvestment comes into. Or if it comes into buying physical merch, maybe I'll use some money to buy into some physical merch that I'll, that I can, you know, give away at events or things like that. Who knows what it is, but it's going to be reinvested. It's not, it's not for me to, uh, you know, pay the hydro, uh, the electricity bill. Um, so we had the link from Nocturnal Butterfly for Van Halen and I'm telling you, here's, this is one thing that really, really frustrates me as a Van Halen fan. And as a diehard Van Halen fan, we see these ads that pop up on Facebook all the time. And and this is this is not because Van Halen Store sponsors the channel. It's because I really love Van Halen. And you see these offshore manufacturers uh, are selling all these striped things left and right, and they get away with it because they're offshore and they don't get they get reported, and, and Facebook doesn't shut them down. But if you're going to spend the money, you know maybe over in China or overseas, it's going to be. $15 less for something that's really, really cool. And you know, $15 for something that might be $20 at Van Halen store, buy from Van Halen store. It's authorized. It's licensed. It's official. It comes with every certificate that you can possibly imagine on the tags, everything. It's legit. Do not substitute and buy at other places. If you, if you have bought, don't feel bad from other places because maybe you didn't know, but it, it really is worth it. And here again, they're not paying me to say this. It's just common sense purchase from them. And it's you get the real the real deal, and they sometimes have some things that are absolutely exclusive that you can't get anywhere else. So really check out that link. And if you um, and another thing I really like about those guys, if they happen to fail on an order, or something comes in damage or anything of that nature, they will make it right. They go the extra mile to help you with pre-sales questions. So if you're buying shoes or things of that nature or any kind of clothing, they'll say it fits this way. If you normally buy this, you might want to buy this. They're really, really good at helping you beforehand. So you don't, you don't just don't get that from these offshore places. And here again, it's just just being honest with you. Uh, so thank you, Nocturnal Butterfly, on the link on that one as well too. Um, FNF says, have you had any experience with Dario strings? Not only have I had experience with them, I'll grab them. Okay, so for many years, and I still love these, Super Slinkies. These are these obviously Ernie Ball. I love these strings. However, this is the string of choice in the home. Okay, the NYXLs, 9 to 42. So I had Rob Cunningham from Daddario on my show a few times, and he sent me a pack of Daddario, several packs months ago, back in the fall of 2017. On my black USA PV Wolfgang, I'm going to just venture a guess of probably, let's just say October, September, October, November of 2017. And I put on a lot of NYXLs on my guitars and the PV Wolfgang, the black one, to date, to this day. No, I don't play it every day, but I play it quite often. It's probably one of my go-to guitars. It sounds like a brand new set of strings on that guitar. I've put NYXLs on everything I have here. Now, two guitars that I've received recently, the newest guitars that have come into the house are the Line 6 Variax guitar, and that came in with a Floyd Rose with a 10 to whatever 10 is, 10 to 56, I think, possibly. And the uh, Kramer Vintage Pacer uh, come with 10s as well, too. Now, I did change the Kramer out to 9s with NYXLs, but I kept the Variax at 10 to 56 with uh, NYXLs because I think the Variax tends to work better with um, tens when it comes to tracking with the computer technology inside there, but the MYXLs are a little bit more expensive, actually probably roughly twice the price of a pack of guitar strings. But like I said, I've had a pack on the PV since late fall of last year, and it sounds like a brand new guitar today. So long story short on that question, uh, from FANF about the Dario, check it out. Um, and Terry says, this is the Cosmo Kramer corner. No, not Cosmo Kramer. Uh, give it away, give it away. And we are just about to uh, wrap up. Terry says, bad hair day. You have hair 
uh, versus you have hair versus most folks. You have a great hair day compared to most people. <laughs> I know it's one of those things now where I, I used to, back in the day, people that know me personally, they know how long my hair was with the band before I retired. It was stupid down to my belt, past my belt. And then I had this, this crazy idea to grow it back. And now I'm almost hating it, but it is what it is. I'm going to think I'm going to keep it for the foreseeable future. Got rid of the mustache. The mustache is back to stay. I mean, I can I can grow a mustache on a Sunday afternoon, so it's uh it's just one of those things, right? Uh, let me see here. Where else? Uh, Will Dunham, as we said, is joining the chat. I I am. You know what it is? I'm like uh if we if my chat was like a season, um. So you guys and girls are all in winter. You're in the winter. I'm still back in the spring of the previous season in the chat. That's how bad I am at chat. <laughs> That's why I need nocturnal in here saying, okay, come on, man, get get through this, get through this. Uh, so I'm the first person to admit. But, uh, you know, I've always said a monkey can read the chat, but um, in some cases that's true. Um, but nocturnal butterfly will really, uh, really improve this. So she gets in here and I just got to get her in here. Um, let me see here. R2, R3 Locknut, man. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a very, very long time. I see that name and I'm very happy to, to, I'm just happy to see it. That's awesome. It's been a long time. Um, Mike Francis says it's nice to talk to friends. Well done him. Hi, Butterfly. Jason Wade is here. Thank you, Jason. Uh, let me see here. Who else have I missed? Looking forward to Camera Corner from my good friend, Al Jean, of course. Looking forward to that as well. I, I do feel like it's like the, um, the Christmas Eve tonight. I don't want to go to sleep tonight, but I know I do have to get to sleep. I'm going to be up at the crack of dawn tomorrow. Last minute production things. A little bit of promo online. The promo, I mean, I mean, I can promo all I want. It's not going to bring in any more people. You you people are what matter right now that are hearing my voice. Tell a couple friends that it's going to be a really cool show tomorrow. It'll, it'll be a hit or not. I hope it's going to be a hit. Um, but I, I'm going to, I'm just like the old band days, I'm going to play if I'm playing for two people in the bar staff or 200 people or 2,000 people. So I'm going to give it my best tomorrow night, and I'm really excited about it, and I'm, I think we're going to I think we're gonna have something really cool. So tell your friends, please. Um, Nick Lepresti says, can you get an EVH LBX1 red channel sound on the LBX2? Yes, I think so. I do think so, and you know what? I've been flip-flopping back and forth between those two a lot. As you can see, I've got the two of them back there. So yes, you can. The only thing I, I caution people, if you're going to try the LBX2, uh, I haven't tried newer versions of them yet, like further further, further manufactured versions of them. I was I had one of the first ones off the line very, very early into the production. And if you're playing if you're playing the lead channel on the LBX2, if you're playing at bedroom levels, like between zero and like the next possible notch, it's a bit of a fizzy tone. And that scared a lot of people. Put a lot of scared out there on the internet. People are like, oh, what do we do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It needs to be brought to life a little bit. Bring it up to one. And now even one is loud. A 15-watt amplifier is loud. And if you bring it down to the quarter switch, it's very, very loud. Bring it up a little bit, and that amplifier rocks. But yes, I guess to Nick, yes, you can get that tone for sure. Uh, Nocturnal Butterflies is going to be a blast. Um, this is something Nocturnal told me in a, in a text message just a few minutes ago. Michael Madej says, Eric, have to share this. 1977, I was 17. I bought a Radio Shack wireless mic. I took it apart and made a guitar wireless that turned to standard radio station, like 92.1, 92.3. That's very, very cool. So, yeah, you probably have a very short FM broadcast signal. So you could probably broadcast for like 15, 20 feet or 100 feet or something like that. That's very, very cool, Michael. Thank you for sharing that story. And that's awesome. And, and kudos to you for the ingenuity and the engineering capa- uh, capability to do that. I certainly couldn't do that. I was able to just, I was just to take an, an 80 and take a router and stick it in the back of a Kramer. So very, very cool. Um, let me see here. We're going to be wrapping up in just moments. As soon as I get to the bottom of this chat, as I get through, I'm now coming into spring season. I'm almost a summer season in the chat. Um, um, and, uh, Dan Hale says, I found Shaler's wreck your straps, uh, too, sometimes could be because you've got two, uh, uh you got a, a couple nuts and you've got some washers and you're really cramping that strap down. If it's leather or vinyl, you know, it could really take some, uh, uh, damage to it over the years. If you've got nylon, like that Dunlop I showed you a minute ago, it could probably take a bit more abuse. Um, I think we're almost there, man. We're almost there. And I apologize for being such a tool in the chat here. Um, it's just hard to keep up with that. Oh, I saw something that said, Eric, did you ever do something? And I missed it. Uh, have you ever heard of El Dorado straps? Billy Gibbons approved. That's from Will Dunham. And I'm going to be 100% honest. No, I have not. 
Uh, I will look at that, Will. Thank you for, for suggesting that. I will look at that. Billy Gibbons is, is quite the interesting character, you know, playing eight-gauge guitar strings. There's a mystery around that fellow, and uh, I'd love to um, I'd love to explore that more. Um, <laughs> El Sean says, I want to be Sammy when I grow up. I don't even know what I want to be when I grow up. I, I got a lot of years ago before I grow up. I, I used to want to be an astronaut, and I wanted to be a fireman, but I think astronaut was the big thing. Uh, so who knows? Zach says, uh, Billy coming on the show. Who knows? Maybe after next Thursday, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I know he's a huge Eddie Van, Eddie Van Halen fan. He's uh, obviously a personal, uh, close personal friend of Eddie. Who knows? Um, I will certainly extend an invitation to him a week from tonight. Um, let me see. I think we're just about to the end. Um, and exactly to uh, Nocturnal says how bands make most of the money with merch. That's right. But, you know, album sales are just not there anymore. And, uh, you know, things like that. Uh, so support like that. You know, by our merchandise that we're going to be launching, that will certainly really help as well, too. Uh, continue on. Let me see here. Okay, 10 to 46. Thank, yeah, thank you, Insomniac Matt. The, see, you're you're the specialist when it comes to 10s, because I know you play 10s a lot. I, I think I said 10 to 56. He's saying 10 to 46. And that, uh, that makes more sense, right? So thank you for the correction on that. And I usually don't pay attention to my 10-gauge strings because I don't use them very often. And it, and actually, I think Junior's um, uh, Ep, uh, Eastwood Airline is 10s as well. And it plays really nice. And and it's nice to come back from 10s to go to 9s because when you hop on, um, if, if everyone, uh, when you when you hop on the 10s, go back to your 9s, it's like, holy cow, I can like play like crazy. I can bend these things like to infinity. So it's kind of a nice, you know, yin, yin and yang. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Terry says to me, uh, Ernie Ball Slinkies and the Cobalt. Yeah, those were good. Uh, they last me a year between changes and Fender Silver Bullets. Now it's been a lot of years since I used the Silver Bullets. I used to work in a Fender dealer, and a lot of a lot of dealers sell Fender strings without even being a Fender dealer. But um, the, they were great, a great string. Nothing to say uh, bad about them, and I'd be a hypocrite if I did say anything bad about them for sure. And I did like the Cobalts. Uh, Chris Link says I love Kramer guitars. I'm so excited. Uh, thank you as well. I appreciate that. Um, let me see here. Any other comments? Uh, Nocturnal says, I'm sure I can hide in here somewhere. We'll find a place for it. We're going to get her in here because I know what she'll do for the show. Uh, Bobby Clipper says, love your show and guests and family, Eric. Thank you very, very much. The show, guests, and my physical family are all together. We're all a family here, and I really want you to feel part of this family. And a lot of you sometimes actually express your thoughts and, you know, interest in the family and like that. So I really want you to feel comfortable with us, and uh, hopefully we can be introduced to your families as well, too. We uh, we really like to be part of that. It's a family environment. Uh, there's no swearing. Every once in a while, you might hear the little thing that slips. And sometimes I curse like a sailor. It's actually pretty funny. That's a story for another day. I curse like a sailor. But when that microphone and the, and the light comes on, I try to like, okay, there could be kids watching and there are a lot of times there are kids watching. So family friendly. And that comes back to the band days as well, too. We went through an era where, you know, everyone out there is, you know, cursing and trying to be off, off the wall, you know, outrageous. And like, if you're cursing and stuff like that and your music still sucks, well, your music still sucks. You just, by swearing, isn't going to make you cooler. Uh, let me see here. Uh, well done him. Very glad, to, very glad to got Billy. Uh, I hope so. I hope I can get Billy. I'm not saying I can for sure. Um, and F and F uh, gamer says this has been a great stream. Keep it up. I appreciate that. And this wasn't even supposed to be a stream tonight. It really, this is an irregular night. But thank you. That means a lot. That means to show me that or that shows me that when I do these things on you know kind of unplanned, that people still appreciate it, and that really warms my heart for sure. Uh, Nick Lepresti says, thanks, man. Bob Clipper, no, thank you. Um, and Zach says, in June, he started using Dadarial and YXLs 10 to 46. Michael Madej, good night, everyone. Thank you, Eric and, and Nocturnal Butterfly. This does feel like a great family show. Awesome job. God bless. Thank you, Michael. You rock and have a wonderful evening. You're probably gone by now because I'm now into the fall season of the chat. <laughs> so that's the new thing here. It's going to be f seasons. Uh, and there's a question coming up. Another question from Nick. Uh, let me see that. Nick Lepresti. I just lost it. I'm going to try to find him again as well, too. Nick, uh, another question. What cabinet do you recommend with the EVH Lunchbox 2? Okay. This is going to sound biased, and it is it is biased because, well, no, it's not biased, but it's what I use, right? There it is right there. EVH. I do recommend that. I'm sure if you, I'm sure if you stick a, a Marshall on there, a, a, you know, a nice a Marshall 412, Mesa, if you have that, Mesa if you, as well, uh, Randall. I'm sure it's going to sound really good. I love the EVH with it. Now, 
price wise, they're not out of the ballpark of other other manufacturers as well. I'll say things I recommend against, you know, some of the cheaper brands out there. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to actually say the brand names, but they start with a B. And they, they make a lot of affordable products out there. I've even used some of their products before for mixers. You know, they're silver. They start with a B. Um, it is what it is. I'm not, and it's not Bulgara or anything like that. Nothing like that. It's a cheaper brand. I don't want to say it because I don't want to slam a product. So just don't use that. But EVH is what I recommend right off the get-go. If, if that's in your budget, it sounds phenomenal. When I put either one of those lunch boxes through that amplifier back there, there is like woof and friggin' like... It just sounds absolutely amazing. You might think that, okay, a 412 might be overkill. And yes, it may be. It just happens to be what I'm using. A 212 would sound great. And I still recommend EVH on that as well, too. I think it'll sound very, very good. So I hopefully answered that question somewhat. So Nick, I hope that helps. Uh, and Jim says, thoughts on EVH strings? I do use EVH strings. Now, my personal preference right now, you know, obviously, uh, even, even being an EVH uh, artist, I do like the NYXLs, it's, it, and it's not fair to compare them to EVH because they're not the same string. The EVH strings, I would put them up there right up here with the Ernie Ball Super Sinkies. I'd say I'd put them up there with the, the bullets, like with Fender Bullets, like we were talking about earlier. Like Obviously, um, there's probably a considerable amount of nod towards Fender Bullets with Eddie when he designed the EVH Wolfgang strings because that's what Eddie was using back in the day, even with the new 78 Eruption Series guitars that are out there, the three of them, you know, some of the case candy comes with, with a more expensive one with uh, various incarnations and also has the Super Bullet strings. So a very, very good string. I just happen to like what's, whatever this mojo is in the NYXLs. You know, honestly, I could probably take just about any string on the planet and put them on my guitar and I could still play and enjoy them for somewhat, but that, that wow factor is going to wear off a lot quicker with a lot of strings. There's, there's another particular string company out there that I don't recommend. And here again, I will not slam the company, but anyone that wants to coat their strings with certain things like colors and things like that, I recommend against that because the novelty is in color and the, the tone is, and the longevity of the string, uh, suffers. That's all I'm going to say, but I could take any string and put it on my guitar and play guitar and put a smile on my face. Certain strings will make me be a little happier. Now, and I do use EVH Wolfgangs. Don't don't get me wrong. I love the strings tremendously. Right now, it's the NYXLs, uh, and then here again, I'm not paid to say that. It's a it's a happy thing for me. So that's the answer to Jim. Uh, so and the question on Nick Lepresti for the cabinet, we got that. And I think you know, believe it or not, I think we are actually caught up. And Terry says, who swears? One of the people who don't swear. All right. So listen, we are at 1057. This was the longest uh, random unboxing I've ever done uh, for a small box. But uh, if anyone wants to check out microphone products, please check out Rode.com. They are been a blessing to this show. They are, they are the audio voice of this show. Uh, they're, they're, they're awesome. Love them to death. Tomorrow night, Kramer Corner. It's CramerCorner.com. New merchandise coming tomorrow night, being unveiled at 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Aljan Go from Gibson Brands Inc. joins me. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we will be off from the Helix Hour this Sunday. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to be back the following Sunday for the kickoff of season two, and uh, and then you, we're going to move another. We're going to move Kramer Corner to another night. So this has been a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone. This has been a, it's been phenomenal. Fantastic Thursday. I think Friday's tomorrow's going to be fun. And uh, feel free to interact with us on Facebook and all those various things. Uh, check out in the in the description down below. We've got Patreon and all those kind of things as well too that can further support um, the the programming as well. And uh, you guys and girls rock. I, I really appreciate it. So look forward to seeing it tomorrow night. I may be I may have a couple more bags under my eyes, and hopefully I'll have I'll shave for tomorrow. But it's probably going to be a worker on the clock getting things ready for the new show tomorrow. And I would just love to play you the intro. I've written a new song for it. It was inspired by using Line 6 Helix and Kramer Guitars. It's uh, it's cool. It's it's really cool. And uh, we've been listening to the tune here in the house a lot. A few friends have seen it. And uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, last last few people. Uh, Jim Dale says, thank you, Eric and Nocturnal Butterfly. Looking forward to the new show tomorrow. Ethan Schwartz jumping in saying hi. And FNF Gamer says, I want to get a nice Van Halen one tone, but every amp that would get me close is so expensive. And thought about something in line six, pod 500, your thoughts. You know what? You don't have to spend a fortune. Let me, let me make this clear to you, to everyone out there. You don't have to spend a fortune to get a Van Halen tone. 
you don't even have to like i mean we can all say you have to have the van halen brand you whatever you can have the eddie van halen amplifier the eddie van halen guitars and copy the settings out of a magazine exactly like eddie sets it and you won't sound like eddie van halen i won't sound like eddie van halen get in the mindset of eddie van halen learn the feel learn the rhythm learn learn like the approach grab even like a boss ds1 distortion and a pv backstage amplifier and if you, if you if no matter what you use get in the mindset and just feel it you'll get it there's you can get you can get the van halen tone with anything there's a million people on youtube you go watch youtube and type in van halen brown sound and you're going to find a million people using a, a million different things just buy what you can afford don't break your bank account to get what you need you you need buy something you can afford enjoy it have fun play your guitar and the brown sound will be coming out when you least expect it when you're when you're least expecting you're playing the more you play the more you enjoy it will come out when you least expect it. So let, hopefully that's an answer for you. It's not a matter of the dollars because you could have an unlimited like, platinum credit card and buy all this stuff and maybe still not sound sound like the man himself. None of us do. Just buy what you can afford, have fun, and you will get it, trust me. We've all gotten it with everything that's out there. So I mean, I shouldn't say we've gotten it, but we've gotten close to it. And it's something that we think sounds like Van Halen. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, Gino, uh, says, uh, oh, uh, sorry, before Gino, Chris Link says, thank you, Eric and Nocturne Butterfly. Um, oh, great. Gino b- uh, bought the strap locks. I just bought the strap tight strap locks. Thanks for the recommendation. Awesome. Well, to make sure you, t- if you're reaching out to those people, um, to Bill and I forget the other fellow's name. It's, it's Bill's partner. And I think it's, I want to say Rob. I think it's Rob as the other partner in the business. Just tell them that you might've heard it here and I don't get any commission or any, any free strap locks or anything. Just tell them that you heard it here. I know they would appreciate that. Uh, awesome. Um, a lot of catch was saying, Eric was thinking, just uh, jump on here for 15 minutes. Yeah, it's been an hour and 15 minutes. I know I got to get to bed. I know it's crazy. Um, this has been awesome. Listen, I'm going to let you go right now. This is the perfect time. It's 1101. Let's get out of here while the hour is somewhat rounded off. We'll see you tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Kramer Corner. And you can show us what's in your corner. All right. See you then. Until next time. Cheers. And thank you so much. Love you guys and girls. I am now on Patreon. If you enjoy my content and wish to support my channel and what I do, then please check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash evhgeartv. Your support assures the continued growth of this channel and a fun community in which to share our love for Van Halen, music gear, and much more. My name is Eric and I'm playing Guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. And official Van Halen merchandise is provided by vanhalenstore.com.